What's up everyone? Brian Schmidt here and today I'm going to be discussing with you all the different proteins out there on the market right now, but more specifically we're going to jump in depth into this guy, casein protein, and whether or not it is worth every penny that that guy in the supplement store is going to tell you it's worth. So as you all know, there are many different proteins out there on the market. You've heard of whey protein. I take it. A lot of people I know take it. I'm sure you probably already take it. Um, but there's also egg protein. There's casein protein. Um, there's protein in beef. You have soy protein. The list really goes on and on and on. However, with each one of these, they are assigned a BV number. It stands for biological value. This measures the overall quality of the protein itself. So on this scale, at the very top of the scale, you got whey protein isolate. It is measured as the top quality protein out there on the market. Um, that's why it is really as popular as it is. Um, so let's go a little bit down on this list. Eventually you get to somewhere in the 70s, you get to casein protein. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, well, those people in the supplement store and the supplement companies themselves, they talk to you about casein protein and tell you how essential it is for nighttime recovery. Um, they say that, you know, while you're sleeping, you're eight hours or so, that um, casein protein will help actually give nutrients, give your body protein throughout the night to keep it from catabolizing. Um, and losing all those gains that you worked so hard for earlier in the day at that gym session. Um, well, it is a slow digesting protein. Um, that is the truth to casein protein. It does digest slow. Um, however, when you when you actually um, take it into your body, it forms almost a glue or paste, uh, maybe consistent with like Elmer's glue itself, and your body has a very hard time breaking it down, hence why it is a slow digesting protein. Um, however, is it really worth $60, $70 a, you know, for a tub of it each month? I don't think so. I wouldn't waste my money on this. This is actually an empty bottle that I found that uh, I'm using for this video itself. So let's throw this aside. Anyways, um, they tell you all this stuff. It is slow digesting protein. It's gonna help you overnight maintain your gains. However, really, um, as long as you're taking in the adequate amount of protein in your body throughout the day, you're gonna still have your gains there. You're not gonna, you're gonna just lose them overnight. Um, however, if you do want uh, what I do, um, and what you guys can do as well, if you do want to have a slow digesting protein in your system before you go to bed, you know, why don't you cook up some eggs before you go to bed or eat a chicken breast? Guess what? Your body's going to have a difficult time digesting that. It's going to take a while to break all that stuff up and turn it into amino acids. So, guess what? Also, added along with that, it is much more beneficial to your overall body itself. There's so many more nutrients and minerals in actual food itself than just taking a, you know, casein protein shake at the end of the night right before you go to bed. I've had friends that have taken casein protein before and they've complained of stomach problems as well from it. So do I take casein protein? No, I don't. If you have the money you want to spend on it and go ahead and take it, yeah, of course, um, any kind of protein in your system will help you maintain your gains. But to me, I don't think casein protein is really worth what all these supplement companies and all these guys working in the stores are telling you that it's actually worth. Me personally, I'm going to stick to egg and whey protein, my two favorites. I'm going to continue cooking my meals, my chicken breasts, you know, everything else that falls into that. And hope you guys do the same. If you have any questions, always shoot me a message, comment below. Hope you guys like this video. I try to keep these as informational as possible and let you guys know the truth. I do all my own research. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions, shoot them my way. Besides that, hope you guys like this. Subscribe by clicking that button below. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.